High school teachers have read it. What's the most awkward position a student has ever put you in? When I was teaching high school, a little twit named Austin found out it was my 45th birthday and launched into a spiel in front of the class. How I should be sure to get a colonoscopy as I was now at that age. I had a student, freshman 15 years old, sent me a picture of herself in lingerie with a line, what can I do to get an A, had to protect myself, turned it into administration. It was a very awkward meeting with her parents. Edit, she sent the picture to me via email. Her parents were mortified, and were not bad parents. She was a very confused girl who I believe, got the help she needed. Student threatened to strangle me with his iPod cord and then didn't. Had a failing student stay after class to ask me, if I suck your dick will you give me a B? Very glad there was a trusted adult close by. One of my very good looking male friends is a seamsomaths teacher. He's one of those mad people that loves to make maths fun and honestly his classes are like a damn performance. It's beautiful but a lot of the girls in the class just giggle and ask him if he has a girlfriend. He kept deflecting them and concentrated on making the class fun. But then they got nasty to a quiet girl he paid too much attention to. She was actually interested in math and he gave her some extra material after class that he thought she'd like. He fully put his foot down and demanded a parent meeting with all of the girls in question parents and told them straight up they could either act like mature people or get out and that he didn't deserve to be borderline sexually harassed while working. Most of the parents were just mortified their daughters would behave like that, but a few were like it's a compliment, etc. Luckily admin were on his side. <laughs> Ran into one of my students at the store. The only things in my cart were duct tape, tampons, and motor oil. He looked at my items, and his eyes got large. Not sure what he was imagining I was going to do, but we both acted like it never happened the next day in school. A boy in a dance class at my school was going to have to wear skin tight leggings in an upcoming performance. Now, serious male dancers usually wear what is called a support, like a heavy duty supportive g-string, under leggings to tuck everything away neatly. However the school I teach at isn't a specialist dance school and we don't have many male students, so this wasn't an issue I have had to deal with before. It was decided that the school would purchase the support for him, since we had to make a trip to a dance shop anyway and we knew what to look for. Cue an awkward phone call with the student's mother to explain why his teachers were buying him a g-string. I'm a new teacher, in my early 20s with a student, who is almost too old to be in high school, 21. I was really short with him one day, because he was being an asshole, and he responded I know, why you're so crabby today. You're mad because your boyfriend beat you. He then yelled at me the whole way down the stairs as I escorted him to the principal, demanding that I tell him why he was in trouble. Made me super uncomfortable because he was almost my age and clearly didn't respect me as a teacher. His comments were way over the line and he got removed from my class for it. Edited because I shouldn't be trusted to type anything before bed. My English e teach was put in a very uncomfortable situation a few years ago when one day during class one of the girls asked if she could use the bathroom and naturally he said in a little bit. Five minutes later she raises her hand again and my teacher replied I'll write you a pass right now. Then the girl said never mind. It went back in. The look on my teacher's face was amazing. A 9th grade student in my world history class came to my classroom after school to make up a quiz. She sat down across from my desk and when I looked up I noticed that her shirt was unbuttoned almost completely down to her waist. She had a scarf on, so at a glance she just looked normal. But she definitely unbuttoned her shirt almost all the way down, right before entering my classroom, alone. I honestly thought for a second that the school may have paid her to test how much integrity I had as a male teacher. It was uncomfortable edit, should have been more clear. School policy was to keep the door open when alone with any students regardless of gender, which it was. It was right after school so there was still a lot of activity in the hallways. Her being in there with the door open wasn't out of the ordinary at all. The way she was sitting kept anyone in the hallway from seeing what she had done, which made that even more awkward. I just didn't look at her and acted like I didn't notice. She never did anything like that around me for the rest of the year. Had two students 
girls, asked to go to the restroom and I allowed them. They didn't come back until class was over. The girls explained they went to the bathroom, because one of them was taking a pregnancy test. It was positive. I said congratulations and recommended they go speak to the counselor or school nurse. Edit 1. When typing this last night I didn't give a damn about punctuation, grammar, complete sentences, etc. Update. A few have asked, and the girl did decide to keep her baby. Her boyfriend Bobby Daddy was arrested that same semester and I have no idea how long he remained in jail. He was in my class as well, and I know he wasn't released that semester because I never saw him again. I saw my previous student one more time the following year after she had graduated and she was working the drive through cash register at a local fast food restaurant. I teach English in Germany and sometimes taking literal translations can cause a problem. Once while we were talking about going to the beach, I had a student ask my why she couldn't say I creamed my pants. Now in German, to say that you apply sun lotion, you say it's cream Mitchell literally translated, I cream myself. As a result, a native English speaker friend of hers decided to joke and say that she should never say I creamed my pants in English and not say why. So she asked me, her English teacher, in front of the class, who also began demanding to know. Needless to say, I went bright red and called to have an early break. That reminds me of the time a male student, I'm female, asked me what a blowjob is. I teach students with intellectual disabilities, and he was just asking an honest question. I told him it would be inappropriate for me to answer, and that he should ask his mom. In hindsight, maybe not the best thing to say. I can only imagine what he said. Hey mom, miss, it's Windmill told me to ask you what a blowjob is. Edit, person first language edit 2, editing the edit. Well, this is a story from a while ago, back when I wasn't working for the school, but gave music lessons and such while in school. One student was gay, but his family was very religious, so he found other outlets to display this side of himself, mainly through playing a character for a domain prof class in creative writing. This had been going on for about a year, but the real meat of the incident is when he decided to release his latest publication. This was essentially erotic friend fiction with the two main characters bearing a striking resemblance to me and another student. The story contained explicitly sexual content, like not just vanilla, some kink was thrown in for good measure. Now, I was in the fortunate position that I wasn't a school employee rather a clinician that just used the facilities for lessons. So I could pretend I hadn't seen it and hope that the discussion never led to me from the school administration. I basically kept my head down and let the whole incident blow over, but some kids just never really let it go and would tease me about it in good humor. The fanfic was written horribly and I was close enough in age to throw some shots back, PG of course, so yeah. Somewhere out there there's a saucy sexy romp into a repressed high school kid's gay fantasies with me as a phenomenal power bottom. I had a male model like pet teacher who had to start dressing bad and not shaving to make girls stop having a pen out for injury so they wouldn't just hang around him. <laughs> Subbed for a high school Spanish class one day, a female upperclassman showed up during my planning hour looking for the normal Spanishy teacher. After being informed of the teacher's absence, she stuck around and initiated small talk, claiming she was a teacher's aide in gym and wasn't needed on this day. Based only on my own instinct, she seemed a little too friendly for having never met me before. Just felt off right from the start. I propped my classroom door open and didn't really give her much feedback as I prepared for class, but she kept talking and it kept getting more personal. Without any prompting, she began explaining how she'd moved out of her parents' house. She appeared to be 16 or 17 and now lived with three college-aged males while she worked as a waitress at what sounded like a strip club. That's typically not the type of thing to open up to a random substitute teacher you met five minutes ago. She segued from that to men's fetishes and how some of the people she served had a thing for pregnant one it seemed like she was angling to see if I'd open up about my own interests that wasn't going to happen I try to be a good listener for my students under most circumstances but this one set off some alarms 
I stood up, asked where the drinking fountain was, already knew, but needed an excuse, then promptly left the room, and didn't return until my planning hour had concluded. I left school, that day wondering, if I was just being paranoid, or whether a girl with that kind of story is something I should have reported to the front office, or whether it's a home life thing, and thus out of a school's control. One way or another, it probably tops the awkward teaching mountain for me so far. TL. Doctor, female high school student approached substitute teacher, and began talking about life working at strip club then tried to engage in conversation about sexual fetishes. Edit, to those wondering, why I didn't report this student to someone. I'm with you. It's definitely something I'd change, if I could go back in time. It's interesting how easy the answer can seem to be in hindsight. As a young teacher at the time, who was just visiting that school for the day, it was one of those experiences that helped build experience, so to speak. I left school that day with doubt as to whether I should have said anything to someone. It served as on the job training that when in doubt, tell someone. When I did student teaching at a high school, one male student in the string ensemble I was leading asked, in front of others, if he could learn cello, because he want to play something he could hold between his legs. Apostrophe. One time in high school, when my class was in the computer lab to classmates asked if they could go back to the classroom because they forgot their books. The teacher, a fairly attractive young blonde, thought nothing of it and gave them here keys to the class. The two boys went back to the classroom to find her phone sitting on her desk. They opened it, went through her messages, found nudes she sent to her husband, forwarded the pictures to themselves proceeded to forward the nudes to the entire male student body. Unfortunately a couple weeks later she was convicted with a DUI, and was let go from the school due to personal issues. Sad story because she was a nice lady and really didn't do anything wrong. Edit, you all are upset about the DUI, and for good reason. It was the incident that led to her DUIs where she did nothing wrong. However she should have controlled herself I agree. In middle school during 6 ed the teacher was preaching abstinence until marriage. The teacher was single, so a student asked him if he was a virgin. Awkward for the teacher, because he didn't know which was worse admit he was a hypocrite, or admit he was a 40 year old virgin. He turned bright red and let us go to recess early. Some context, I teach students with intellectual disabilities. Imagine being an ATO in a teenager's body. These kids are just honest and always say what is on their mind. Not a lot of understanding of social norms and socially appropriate behavior. One of my students comes up to me and asks to speak to me outside of the classroom. I thought maybe he was dealing with something personal and needed to talk about it, so I said okay. He proceeds to tell me that I'm the sexiest thing he has ever seen. I had to try to squish it that right away. I told him that he can't say that to me because I'm his teacher, it's not appropriate, etc. After that, he asked for a hug. Lesson not learned. Edit, I didn't use person first language.